honestly, I was trying to decide on what to talk about in this video. Should I talk about the fact that P. Diddy has finally, finally got arrested on charges and he's cooked? Or should I more specifically talk about the fact that he has over a thousand bottles of baby oil? Like, who needs a thousand bottles of baby oil? Good lord, that's too much baby oil. That's, that's, that's 999 bottles too much of baby oil. Or should I talk about this TikTok video? Now, I saw this going the rounds on TikTok uh, about a woman asking uh, other women uh, their horror stories of their men going down the red pill rabbit hole. I saw a really good one from uh, a TikToker by the name of Andra, if I remember correctly. And yeah, that it's. It's horrible. It's a horror story in reality. Cause I mean, the dude had, the dude had her. She's a gorgeous girl and a gamer. They couldn't ask for more. And yet he decided to go down the red pill rabbit hole and he, oh, he, he, he went deep in it. He went deep in it. Good Lord. Ooh, I could talk about that, but. I don't feel like I want to. No, I want to talk about video games. I'll get back to the Andrew one a little bit later in another video. And when it comes to the P. Diddy stuff, well, everybody's covering that already. So let's cover something that most people aren't really covering when it comes to video game content uh, or video game stuff. So the other day I was talking to my coworker well, technically my boss, uh, we were talking about video games. I, I was telling him my joys and frustration of Trails Through Daybreak. The fact that I was playing the demo and it's so freaking good, but I also don't want to spend the money to buy the actual game just yet because of the fact that I'm on a financial responsibility journey, you know? So I'm trying to save money. However, when he was talking about his particular video game issues, it was terrible. And I don't mean he it was terrible in compared to my stuff. I'm talking about it was terrible. He was on the phone with EA all the night before. Uh, you see, he was he's a battlefield player. And I've thought about playing Battlefield before, but after his story, I never want to play Battlefield. I never want to play any EA game ever again. So he was telling me a story about how he was trying to play Battlefield with a couple of his friends. He was just trying to like, you know, uh, I guess get in the squad with them, get in the lobby with them, whatever. But they couldn't find uh, he couldn't find their friend uh their profiles uh in order to send friend requests in order for him to team up with them and when it came to them they could find his but the only thing uh that it will allow his friends to do would be to report or block him which makes no sense so my friend was like okay since i'm having this much difficulty I'm, I, I just want to go ahead and delete my account. His plan was to delete his account, his account, and then create a new one. Just add him friends, his friends through that. Okay. He was telling me all about how the cross play was working. Uh, he had the cross play settings on, you know, things should be perfect. And as a person who has, who knows the struggle of cross play, I understand. I mean, shoot, I was playing uh, the first Descendant. Yeah, the first Descendant um, due to a recommendation from 
uh, some Discord friends. Like the main Discord that I'm on, uh, my Discord friends want to play, get it all together and play the game. So, you know, I was playing the game. It's a really good game. But here's the thing. Uh, I could not find them. Even with crossplay settings on and everything, I couldn't find my friends. They gave me their profile ID so I can type it in. And lo and behold, I still couldn't find them. It's ridiculous. Like, why can't I find my friends? I want to play with my friends. What the heck, dude? But needless to say, back to the story. So my friend tells me that he, uh, he went to go and delete his account. But when it comes to EA, you have to fill out a, a delete a account deletion request form. What? What? Again, what? Okay, why do you have to like look when it comes to that to deleting certain things? Uh, deleting an account, it should be the most simplest thing in the world. All you have to do is hit delete. Uh, hit the delete button on your account. Look for the, your account. Look all the way down to where it'll say delete your account. And you should be able to press that button. And it should only have one prompt. Are you sure you want to delete your account? This will, you know, it'll give you that option. It should have two things going on. It should first bring up the prompt of, okay, this will delete your account. You will never be able to recover anything on this account ever again. Are you sure you want to go with this? It hit yes. Okay, let's just double check. Maybe you might have actually hit the, the button. Are you sure you want to delete your account? And hit yes. And that should be it. Your account will be deleted and all that stuff. When it comes to like a, a few other things that I've actually had where I have a full account and all that stuff, whether it be a free game, whether it be some other um, subscription service that I have, usually that's the thing, you know? They just want to double check and make sure that you want to delete your account. And hey, I've deleted my accounts very easily. Sometimes it went a little bit too far. Like you had to call and be like, "Hey, yeah, I, I, I need to delete this account, okay? Like I don't know why it's paying for it, why I'm paying for this and all that stuff." Cool, I understand that. But when it came to him, he had to fill out a delete request form, and then he got on the phone with EA, and they were constantly trying to say, "Hey, look, uh, are you sure you want to delete your account?" Actually, you know what? What can we do? To keep you from deleting your account. Oh, come on. This ha there has to be something we could do to delete your account. That's basically how he explained it to me. And I'm just like, that shouldn't be a, that shouldn't be a thing. I mean, I get it. Like, okay, with the uh, rise of uh, prank videos where girlfriends will actually delete uh, their boyfriends, like, accounts. Or their friends will delete, they will supposedly delete their NBA 2K accounts and all that stuff to the point where all of that progress that you've made over like who knows how long is all gone. I can understand that. In my own, in my honest opinion, okay, I can understand you trying to figure out ways to like combat those accidental deletions, those prank deletions. Or the occasional, like, girlfriend is upset that the boyfriend is spending more time on the video game and not spending enough time on her. Deletions. You know what I mean? However, in my honest opinion, you would normally have a, 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 an app on your phone that you have to do some extra, like, password thing if, you know, make sure your girlfriend doesn't have that password that particular password and you type that password in and you're just like okay here we go uh if i really want to delete my account hey, i just put that password in and i made sure that i got the delete so I, I or a hacker trying to delete the whole thing you know you gotta have those like one-time passwords even though i hate those one-time passwords sometimes because of the fact that so, you, you know, you never know. Later on down the line, you might have a new email address because your old email address, you forgot the password to your old email address or something like that. I don't know. 
then you can't get your information anymore. I mean, shoot. I probably cannot get my Final Fantasy 14 account going anymore because I don't have the Square Enix uh, one-time one time password app anymore, and I don't have the key to get on that thing anymore, and it's like a whole bunch of hoops I gotta jump through just to get my Square Enix account back up for Final Fantasy 14. But that's not where I'm going with this. I'm talking, but I, I mean, like, but at the same time, you should have, like, one of those type of apps. However, I asked, he, he told me that EA doesn't have a f mobile app. What? Like, they have an app for your computer, and that's it. And it just kind of gets me, it gets me a little bit upset to hear that. Like, that makes no sense. Like, all these different game companies, remember when, remember when Xbox One, heck, I was just watching uh, uh, um, one of my favorite list content from uh, outside Xbox and X, outside uh, Extra, where they were talking about the Xbox One, <coughs> well, announcement, when they first came out with the Xbox One, and how they were talking about... <coughs> always online DRMs and all that stuff and how everybody got upset about that. Remember that? Everybody was upset about the fact that the Xbox one wanted you to always be online in order to access anything. Heck, if you bought a video game, if you play, if you bought a video game, even if you had the physical copy of that, you wouldn't be able to play it offline and a lot. And after all this time, now all these game companies actually want you to do want that to happen i mean shoot i recently um uh, i recently bought la noir on steam and i realized that i always have to have online i always have to have internet in order to play la noir on my computer why? Because of the fact that, well, you know, when you go on to your computer, in fact, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you the bad. So, as you can see, I have all these games that I have on my library. Uh, I have Among Us, Borderlands 2, Borderlands Game of the Year, Chrono Cross, Final Fantasy 4, The First Descendant, L.A. Nor, Lethal Company, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel on my uh steam library which i can only access through the steam library like i can't make a shortcut in my on my desktop to just immediately go to even though i have the shortcuts on my desktop now granted let's see what happens when i open up the la noir and this is the reason why i haven't really put any more uh la noir stuff on my um gaming channel just yet so go on, go to L.A. Noir, hit play, and this is what comes up. Rockstar Game Services. Update Rockstar Games Launcher. Now, I got to wait for the update now for the uh, Rockstar Games Launcher, right? Why do I have a launcher? Like, I bought the game on Steam, and I get it. These net with us having to deal with digital purchases now long nowadays, we don't own the game. We own the license to play the game, which sucks. Okay, but still, here we go. I gotta do all this number. So I gotta keep updating just to play a game that should already. Uh, I've downloaded it onto my system, which makes no sense to me. But here you go. The Rockstar Game Launcher, right here. Here and all that stuff. My game bar is asking me if I want to record. And not only that, but I'm now stuck. <laughs> and turn that down a little bit. But that's the only way I can play the game. I don't like the fact that I have to go through this launcher in order to play the game. It makes no sense to me. 
like I should be able to immediately just play the game. Even like let's say my internet went down for like a couple of days because of rain, a storm, a heavy storm knocked out internet and all that stuff, right? Like having to rebuild the internet. What happens then? I'm gonna just escape. Of course I wanna exit right now because I don't wanna play the game. But what happens when my internet is down? I'm gonna like for instance, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect my Wi-Fi. I'm gonna turn off my Wi-Fi. Now I'm gonna try to start up see, I gotta open up Steam in order to do that. Offline mode. Okay, so it is it possible for me to play the game when it's offline? If so, we good. If not, I won't see it starting. I open up Steam. Steam is open. I name the launch game. Please try reinstalling game. What the heck, dude? So you see my point, like why, what's the point of this? Like game companies, y'all really do need to stop this whole little mess. I get that, like I get the digit that digital is the way to go now, but instead of like making it so that it's impossible to play these games offline, when people spend their hard earned money to like get on these digital stores, you got to make it so that when you download it from the digital score stores, the person now officially owns it. That's the reason why people are so obsessed with keeping uh, physical media, which is another issue that game consoles are, are are dealing with nowadays because they're trying to get rid of the disc system. Look, instead of doing this whole little number, this whole little numbers game of you basically buying a license in order to play, basically renting a game until you decide to shut down your server, allow people to download the full game if you digitally buy it. So they can easily put, because, you know, we have hard drives now. You can easily buy an external hard drive and then put the game on the external hard drive. Just make sure the external hard drive doesn't get destroyed or something. But no, 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 no. You have to go through us in order to play the game. Well, if I'm offline, let's say I just moved into a new house and I haven't really gotten my Wi-Fi set up, okay? Or uh, internet service set up just yet. Okay? I want to be able to play the games that I already have downloaded onto my computer like why shouldn't i be able to play the games that are downloaded on my computer i i, I heck i'm it has uh, it's built it, it is basically uh filling up my like hard drive it's on my hard drive and as for the whole ea games situation with the whole deleting your account, you shouldn't have to go through all of that stuff, all these hoops, and jump through all these different hoops in order to just delete an account. It should be as simple as two freaking clicks, and that's it. You delete your account. Cool. Or if you're really trying to make it so that you know people don't accidentally delete accounts, it's not so simple. Make it so that you have like a one-time password or an app that you can use on your phone so that you can easily type in your own password and be like, if you really want to delete your account, you can delete your account through that. Game companies, y'all are, are making it more difficult to play video games. Y'all are turning off, y'all are starting to turn off the people who actually go out of their way to pay for these video games that you make that they enjoy that they're fans of you're pissing off your fans in order to make it so that your fans are beholden to you that's not how you keep fans sorry that's all i gotta say in this one okay it is it gaming is getting ridiculous these days 
don't get me wrong, I'm still a gamer. I still like playing the occasional video games and all that stuff. But I, I can tell you right now, that whole EA games thing that my my boss was telling me about, I am definitely not playing any EA game game for a while. Especially not on multiplayer and not, especially if I have to make an account in order to do it. It just doesn't seem plausible to me. Okay. I like like I like my single player stuff. I like the single player experience, but I also do like to play multiplayer games every once in a while. When there's when there's a multiplayer game where I can easily get on and just play every once in a while, but there's also like for instance, I like the original Call of Duties. Call of Duties one through uh three. I even tried to play uh Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare two. Okay. I like that because they had stories attached to it, okay? Nowadays, more Call of Duties, more of these first-person shooters have, like, this multiplayer, massive multiplayer that they're more focused on the multiplayer and don't give a single-player story to. Because every once in a while, I just want to get on the game, don't have to get online or anything like that, just play through a story. And that's what game... <laughs> that's what game developers need to start focusing on instead of trying to make as much money through the multiplayer as they they've been trying to do for the past like few years at this point fine have a multiplayer but make that be like uh uh, uh make that be like the extra stuff added to the single player experience because getting rid of the single player experience is is annoying there are sometimes you just want to get on the game and you just want to play through a story. And then there are some times where you're going to want to get on the multiplayer and just fucking, you know, just go ham, okay? Of other people. Like, for instance, I could bring up Mortal Kombat 1. Okay? I like I like the fact that a lot of video game, a lot of fighting games are actually having story modes. But at the same time, you can still get on that multiplayer, the online. You can still get an extra controller, have another friend come into your house, and y'all can sit there and like run the ones. You know what I mean? Or get online and run the ones with people online. I'm just saying that there has to be like some kind of. You gotta find. Game companies need to find that middle ground they once had um that would satiate all gamers i mean shoot i otherwise you're gonna lose a lot more fans than you than you're gonna keep okay people are gonna stop playing video games the gaming industry will slowly die out again there will be another game crash if you keep doing all that if you keep doing all this extra stuff okay Go back to think about what made games such a big thing in the past. Why is the gaming industry as big as it is now? Where where did it start? If you can get back to where it started, I mean, because I think like Black Myth Wukong actually has a good idea of how it feels to play a game. You know what I mean? Just go back. I mean, I'm not even going to talk about the, the DEI in video games. I mean, enough people are talking about that. And I do agree with those people who who hate the idea of, like, forcing DEI into a video game. It already had plenty of diversity, plenty of inclusion, plenty of equality in all these different video games. But that's a story for another time. I'm done with this video for tonight. So you guys have a good day. And I will see you guys later. Okay? And have a great rest of the year. If I don't see you, which I pretty much will. Peace out.